What's up, people? It's your boy DV from Justin.tv slash DV2K. And I'm here to help you out with the HDP, I mean, uh, the HDP VR screaming with it. I'm going to show you how I scream with it as of 2011. So let's get into details first. Open up Total Media Extreme. Go to Record Video. Exit out this uh, window. And I'm going to minimize that. Or like, let me ask y'all this question. Like, I know there are a whole bunch of people on stream that will probably like keep it minimized like this, or you might go full screen like this, or you might go the fullest screen, <laughs> which don't make sense. But or like that when it's like the whole screen. So I'm gonna show you a big tip that should help you out. So what I do is like minimize it, and, and what you wanna do is hit Alt Space. See how that little menu comes up? You can either go to it by like you know using the arrow key. Or going to you know with the the, uh, the mouse and what I do is hold you know I mean what I press I mean is old space and S and you get this little you know little cross here's the arrows and stuff and what I do is hit down and right to where I get to the you know the corner and, our, and you can resize it and a lot of people don't know about this but it's a really helpful tip because you don't have to go full screen for it if you think about if you use like what flash media encoder or use a uh, wirecast you know you're using all that cpu because you're capturing your screen which you know takes a lot of, out of your cpu especially me when i only got two cores a dual core as if some of you might have quad cores i5s i7s you know all the more powerful stuff and you could get away with it but this is just helpful you know if you don't want to do all you know I mean, it still looks good, but let me go on the basis still. And so I use the screen cap program. It's called SCFHDSF. Very great program. It's better, way better than VH screen cap, in my opinion. It doesn't use it. Matter of fact, I'll show you how much it don't even use. Look at that. Use like what? 1,552, <laughs> what? Like kilobytes or something. I remember. Or whatever it is. Like it's. Man, don't spacey zero. Yeah, it's me still. But I can minimize that. And what I do is go to the capture module. So you can detect mostly anything. And the default says player for what? JTV, Justin.TV, or Ustream. I don't know about all uh, all the rest of the uh, streaming sites, but ba mainly it's like a 16 by 9 ratio. But best one probably is like 640 by uh, or older all mainly like 360p 640 by 360 right here so basically what I do with this uh, program I size it up before I use it in flash media encoder and I think I almost got it might be just twit a little bit let me size it down like that that might be it right there yeah there you go and what I do is drag I don't want do that drag to the left and click that and I'll just X out. And what I want to do is open up Flash Me and Coder 2.5. And I mainly use the command line version, but <laughs> I guess I'll do that in another video. I know it would be helpful if I did it now, but you can Google it's not that hard. Or if I got enough time, I'll probably get to it towards the end of the video. But now, what you want to do is go back to the screen cap program, the SCFHDSF. I'll have a link in the description how to, you know, get it downloaded, installed, and use it and stuff. Very great. So you want to go to Flash Media Encoder, then you want to go to Area Selection again. Sure, size up. And it might not be like the right thing. Or I mean, this could be a hassle. I mean, whatever like fits you best, you can use it, minimize, or you know, keep it big. But keep in mind that you're always like either you're upscaling from uh, minimize and you're downscaling it from you know if it's like big, you know, because you're always gonna make it smaller than what it is. But if you keep it small with great quality, then there's no hassle, you know, no problem stuff. And basically, like when you're using uh, the screen cap, make sure to keep aspect ratios on so it stays at 16 by 9 ratio. And you want to double click that, and I'm not showing you on Flash Media Encoder. See, nice 16 by 9. Or uh, click the layout on here, and a 640 by 360. Another thing I like about this program, you can resize it. So, say, like, you like to keep it big, or what I see, 
we could minimize it make it small and then select that on flash media encoder as well but 640 by 360 is like the default size so, eh. reason why the performance is not like what 29.97 like I'm about to explain flash media encoders cuz keep in mind I'm using fraps and fraps you know it takes a hit on your computer and stuff so here goes my settings uh, use make sure it says you know SCF HDSF not HDPVR or it won't work now it's not compatible with flash media encoder yet yeah, hopefully in the future updates they do that will be nice and you want to do screen cap you just do it right from the yeah, the HDPVR itself I use VP6 for like I don't have like you know powerful computer I mean I could use H.264 unless I want to have a laggy cast but VP6 doesn't take that much off I mean use the uh, resources off my CPU and I use like 2000 bit rate I have great internet at Fios and so on I use 29.97 because it locks at 30 that's like you know usually like you know regular uh, frame rate and stuff mainly like you know how YouTube any type of videos you watch and stuff or if you got these computer you can use VP6 and 60 frames that have a crazy frame rate real smooth people who likes that you know so and 640 to 360 stereo mix now this is a problem another problem people keep on addressing me is like uh well what i i found stereo mix you can find it for your uh computer you just gotta google it or just get lucky if you're not then you might have to use like a uh, like a cable you know like as mentioned before in my old videos and it's like you know using the uh a wire from like you know a mail to mail audio cable 3.5 millimeter kit you know like that one when you use your headphone jacks listen to music too and so on and you plug it from there to like uh your line in your microphone jack so basically you want to plug a uh, you know that mail to mail jack audio jack cable it's just one cord and you plug it from your headphone jack to your uh, your mic jack or you basically want to just you know capture your own audio coming out and going back into it but that's why I use Stereo Max because it records, you know, all the sounds in the computer for me. So that's why I select it here. And basically, how you go here is go to recording devices. And if it's disabled, make sure, like, you know, show the disabled devices and then you want to enable it. And it's really simple. And yeah, I'm using my PS3 mic, which is amazing. That's how you hear me now. And so on. And. That's how like I got my setup, you know, and then I get hit start if I had more power computer, but I use the command line. And basically like you really don't gotta like run it like through command prompt, which is like, you know, more easier and stuff. But what I do is like uh I got like set up uh well let me see, found a fast way to do this. Yeah, that was right. I'm trying to figure out where my flash media encoder is. Now there goes all my uh my bat files, my XML files for uh, the command line. Like I could put these in command prompt, yeah, and it runs my string. Basically, you want to find like Adobe, a Flash B encoder, and all you're doing with see uh, command prompt is launching the FME CMD, CMD dot, uh, executable file right here, and basically like well, how are you save say like how I had it open like this. And I save my specs like that to wherever it's going to save. It's going to keep all of this, including like your stream code that you get from, you know, the site and the uh, URL, wherever, like justin.tv, you stream, wherever one you use. And it'll save all that for you. And all you got to do is just like save it and then save it at startup. And then you go and just click that. And it will, it's the same thing as run a command prompt. And it will just bring up command prompt and it will just like show you all your specs and it will run for you and it uses uh, less CPU because it doesn't use the GUI as graphical, you know, you user interface. Yeah, right, yeah. this right here. So if you use, just click on FME, CMD.exe, you don't have to have the hassle of using this. Like everybody's stream, I see they all use the GUI and I imagine if they didn't, they're like, you know, their streams would be 10 billion times better. But that's basically how you get the command prompt. But that's like uh, how it's stream. But if you got like any uh, questions, uh, just leave them, you know, in a comment. Just comment and I'll uh, reply to you ASAP and stuff. But that's what I basically do to stream.
And like I said, you don't gotta keep it big like that, big like that, or you don't gotta minimize. But the good, cool thing is, like when you uh, like size it up, you know, it won't go to the smallest form, which is like 500 by 280, but it goes back to 640 by 360. How I got it, you know, resize. So basically, that's how you resize the whole program. So keep it small and running real fast. But hope I help you.